come in here and there's a lot of noise in the background. That's a, that's a good thing. One injury, uh, Carl Davis had a hamstring, so we'll attend to that. Um, great, great team victory, right? This was as good a team victory as you can have. It really, literally, in all three phases, came up big at different times in the game. Just thinking about how the game started off, you know, we had, we, we stopped them, right? They don't score. We go 94 yards and score. And then the defense comes up with two huge stops, right? I mean, when we go for it on fourth and one and don't make it, they turn that into a field goal. Um, that could have easily been a touchdown. And then, of course, when we turned it over, backed up, and they turned that into a field goal. So great job by the defense. Jacoby played lights out. Um, you know, T.Y. made impact plays. Ebron impact plays, right? Zach, Pascal, and then Darius and Pierre with the two big interceptions. Um, just, just a great team effort, great team win. Frank, what did you think, you think about you guys have run the ball a lot this season. Today was the first time you can probably say you aired it out. What is it about Jacoby? It seemed like he made some, went through his progressions and made some smart plays on the field. Hey, you know what, we, he just played well and he's been playing well the whole year. Um, but like you said, we had to throw it a little bit today. And we talked about that. You know, in fact, last night in our meeting, right, we just had a I thought we'd run it maybe a little bit better than we did. But we said, if we're going to win this game, we're going to have to come up big in the pass game. We talked about that last night as an offense, that we needed to make plays in the pass game to win this game. And, uh, and we did that. And Jacoby, and Jacoby led the way. Think about it. That first drive, I think you guys threw the ball nine out of the 12 plays. It kind of seemed to kind of just build off of that opening drive. I mean, you've been pretty deep. Well, in the first half, they're, they're literally playing man coverage on every snap. And so, um, you know, we just we liked our matchups. We felt like we could make some plays against them. Um, and then they switched it up and slowed us down a little bit in the second half and mixed coverages a little bit in the second half. Um, but, you know, our, our receivers made plays when we needed to make, made some big chunk plays. When you play cover one, it's kind of feast or famine sometimes. You, you're susceptible. You're going to contest every throw, but you're susceptible to big plays. And... Um, we made a few of those count. And Jacoby was right on the money. We're going to be there for the most part today. So we talked a lot about that. You know, anytime you get man coverage, crossing crossing routes are really important. But you still got to get the protection and, and make good throws. And, and we did that. Frank, they have a top red zone offense, and then first half you're zero for three. I think they were in the first half. What was, what I mean, it was massive. I mean, what our defense did in the first half to to make them kick those two field goals. You know, we go for you know we go for it on fourth and one. That's my fault. That's just a bad call. I didn't. I almost called timeout at this last second because I had something in my gut that, you know, going outside. Just trust our offensive line up front. Just plow it in there and, and live and die with that if you're going to go for it. So that was on me. And then defense got my back, got our back, and uh, and held them to a field goal. And then of course when we fumble it down there, I mean, th that's the ball game right there. I mean that, I mean those two stops are huge. Every coach gets up there and talks about complimentary football, but I mean. Have you seen a better example? No, really. I, uh, no, Stephen. In fact, like I was trying to figure out a way to say it in there, because like, you, whenever you win, you always want to say it's a. We know it's a team win, but like this, I, I, the only word I could come up with was this was the consummate team win. I mean, this was the consummate team win. I really felt like that, and uh, that gi that gives us some energy. We still got a long way to go. I mean, that's obviously a big game against a very good football team, against a well-coached team. But you know, we're, we still got a long way to go. Has Zach Pascal surprised you as a receiver with the way he's played so far? Um, I wish I could say that we were surprised. I mean, this goes back to last year. He, he kind of won us over really quick, and he won the quarterbacks over with his toughness um, you know, and his big playability. So he's got deceiving speed, and, you know, and he's got a really good knack of separating at the top of a route. So when you play in man coverage, he, he can make big plays, and he did that today. Frank, we saw Darius basically close out that game last year in Oakland. This, was this kind of similar to that? Oh, yeah, that was un unbelievable. I mean, how do you come up with that catch? Um, you know, just having him back, you know, having him back, you could just feel his presence out there, and that's big time. I'm happy for him to, you know, to get him back and then for him to close out the game like that. throwing motion there. Oh, oh, the Jackie Moon play. We've, been, we've had that thing up three or four times this year and we're like this is the week this is the week we're going to hit the Jackie Moon and uh or I wish you could have heard us on the sideline all the coaches like it's Jackie Moon we're going to get us some Jackie Moon and you know and Zach actually has a great arm and really good passer uh obviously just overthrew him a little bit but it was it was nice trick plays uh we're going to see Quentin Nelson run more routes in the future <laughs> yeah no that was 
uh, it was good to get him back there, right? We, you may see more of him back there in the future. I mean, you may see more of him back there. Um, you know, we had that third and super short. You know, just thought maybe we run a little play action with him in there, and then obviously Jacoby and Ebron just make an unbelievable play to, to finish that one off. How much of the game time decision was Pierre? Like, when did you know that he was going to be able to give it a go? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was not until, I mean, I, I'd say yesterday morning, you know, he tested out fairly well on Friday, um, tested out fairly well on Friday, so we wanted to wait till Saturday, you know, just see how he responded. And at that point, we were feeling pretty good about him going on Saturday. I know Hopkins got his in the second half, but just having Pierre out there and allowing you to do the, de the defensive game plan that you did. No doubt. It, you know, it gives Flus and the, and the, it gave everybody confidence, you know, that's called around him. Pierre's done a really good job against his team. Um, and so it was great to have him out there. To, to, it's very rare when a guy doesn't practice all week and then goes out and play. But that's, that speaks to Pierre, the kind of person and player he is and the confidence that we have in him. Frank, what does it say about Jacoby? He obviously took over the job under extremely unusual circumstances. You've been running the ball well, and then he comes up with this kind of game. In such a big situation, what does it say? Yeah, it just says it says he's he's a legit, he's the man, and um, you know we've we believed that from day one, and we've never wavered on our conviction on our belief in Jacoby, um, but we all know he knew it too. You still got to prove it. You still got to come in here, and and put the offense on your back literally for for this game, and come up with the, and make the plays that he made to win this game, and and he did that today. I mean, he he did it as well as you could do it. On, on, on that last uh, third down you had there, well, second and third down, I can't remember the second down call, but the third down, um, you didn't throw it down the field to try to get that chunk play, get the first down. Was that just, what was the thought process? Trust your defense? Is that what it was? Yeah, I mean, I really was torn there, right? I mean, that whole series, you know, when we went run, run, pass. I mean, usually, usually I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive there and, uh, and throw it down the field and probably throw it twice I don't care you know what I mean just trust the guys I really don't and that's what we did when we played Houston before in that situation in the last regular season but I, I don't know I just it was a gut feeling the defense was playing well make them burn their timeouts and uh, trust our defense